But first, Qantas will axe at least 1,000 jobs over the next year after revealing a shock profit downgrade. The pay of the chief executive, Alan Joyce, and board members will also be cut as the airline seeks to save billions of dollars. There are now calls for the federal government to intervene to save jobs and guarantee the airline's future. SBS reporter Vesna Nazor is at Sydney Airport for us now. Vesna, how has this news been received? Well, today's announcement wasn't entirely unexpected, but it does confirm that Qantas is an airline in crisis and its very survival may be at stake. The CEO, Alan Joyce, says Qantas is facing immense challenges and urgent action is needed. And he's blaming what he calls an uneven playing field. Turbulent times for the national carrier, with more jobs being shed and more cost-cutting after a forecast half-yearly loss of up to $300 million. All options are on the table in terms of the structural review. We're not ruling anything in or anything out. And that could include selling off part of Jetstar and the Qantas frequent flyer program. Qantas blames the toughest market conditions it's ever faced, including record fuel costs, a strong Australian dollar and fierce competition from international rivals. All we're after is a level playing field. That's what we want. Customers decide, the market decides, but at the moment what's, who's deciding is three foreign state-owned carriers by their investment in Virgin. That's a distortion. With another 1,000 jobs to go on top of thousands already slashed, unions are urging government intervention. The government has an opportunity to step in to ensure that Qantas uh, can be a viable national carrier. This company at the same time as holding 65% of the market has monumentally failed both the travelling public, its workforce and the nation of Australia. Some are calling for heads to roll. The only way for Qantas to get out of this nosedive is for Alan Joyce and the board to resign. And as the Qantas share price nosedived, the Pilots Association also urged government action to ensure Qantas is not unfairly disadvantaged against foreign state-backed competitors. The Abbott government's blaming Labor's carbon tax. The introduction of the carbon tax drove up operating expenses by $106 million. I spoke to Alan Joyce an hour ago. The carbon tax has nothing to do with it. Stop politicising job losses. Shame on you. Qantas has been pleading for government assistance. Options being discussed include easing foreign ownership restrictions. Vesna Nazor, World News, Australia.